Due to the rising of plastic pollution in the Philippines, the researchers decided to build something that could help lessen the development and evaluation of eco bricks utilizing recycled plastic bottles as an alternative to our normal building material. Due to the rising of plastic pollution in the Philippines, the researchers decided to build something that could help lessen this while also helping the building industry to have cheaper building materials. How did the researchers make the bricks? Here are the procedures. The materials needed are cement, sand, water, and plastic bottles. While the equipment needed is the box, pointed cement trowel, sea sorts, puller, weighing scale, measuring tape, heavy objects, and rings. Once we gathered the materials, we start cutting the plastic bottles into pieces. After that, we start measuring how much cement and plastic bottles will go into the mixture while the water and the sand remain constant. We will then put the mixture all together and then start mixing them. In order for the mixture to be okay, mix thoroughly. When done, put each mixture into the Zesto box and let it dry for 1 to 2 weeks. Once dry, the researchers conducted a series of tests such as drop test, nail test, scratch test, and clash test. Here are the summary of the results of the test we did. This is the legend of the table that will soon be showed further in the video. As you can see, the echo bricks is compared to brick A which is the normal building brick. As shown in the table, echo bricks are better than the normal building brick which is brick A. Out of all of them, brick A is the strongest echo brick which has 500 grams of cement, 500 grams of plastic bottles, 500 grams of sand, and 500 grams of water. All in all, this means that echo bricks are an effective alternative to our normal building material.